Hello friends, welcome to Dublin, Ireland. I'm here in front of Porterhouse Brewing Company. Let's go try some beers. Everybody men, got machines. You and I, Pat. All right. Yeah. How are you? Looks like there's a couple of bars in this place. Kind of hard to find a seat at the moment. A lot of people here. Quite a beer collection up here. Looks like a lot of bottles I've never seen. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see the menu up here, but I see a couple I'd like to try. They have a dry hop stout, an extra stout, a pilsner, some, some guest taps it looks like as well. Oyster stout. All over Dublin, every bar you go to, the tap handles look the same. They all have this illuminated, circular look to them. Every single one of them. Well, they're very kind here. They offer samples. I wasn't expecting that so much, but they do offer samples. For being such a busy place, it's kind of been to do. Take an oyster south. These are guest taps. They got some good beers here on their guest tap. Usually you don't see Le Chouf or Bruley. I think I've seen Bruley before, but I've never seen it on tap. It's right under the bar. It's a nice bar. Look at the lighting here. It's cool tin ceiling, too. There's the oyster stuff. Thank you very much. Okay, friends, it's time to try my first beer at a brewery in Ireland. Let's see what the oyster stout tastes like. Oh, it's excellent. It's very good. It's got a little bit of brininess to it. It's a good stout, good finish. Nice, really nice finish to this. It tastes like an oyster stout you'd be used to if you like those sort of beers. Very good beer. Malty, a little, a little rich. I like it a lot. Very good beer. Oh, the bartender is very cool. He gave me this little card that talks about some information about the oyster stout. Uh, basically, it's not vegetarian, and you're going to taste a little bit of that brine, which I did, and it's very, very good. It also explains that it uses East Kent Golding hops in it, and how it's just a really good beer. There you go. I'm going to try Sarah's beer. It's a 5% Yippee IPA, is what it's called. Oh, it's good. It's a little dry. I like that. It's got a good flavor, great finish. It's a little bit citrusy, tropical flavor to it. It's a very good beer. I'd have two of these. You could probably have three or four of these at 5%. We have a huge collection of beer bottles here. They have a food menu here with a lot of options. And of course, they drink menu. They don't just have beer, they have whiskeys and all the liquors you want. I just noticed that the Sealy fans are run on a pulley system. Check it out, they got a dumb waiter here. <laughs> I wonder where it goes. Let's take a little walkabout in the brewery here. Check out some of this collection of beer bottles. There's got to be thousands of bottles here. It seems like thousands of people. This place is packed. Some live music. Great. Looks like we got another bar up here. A lot of liquors. And lots more bottles in their collection. Up here is the dining area. You gotta wait to be seated. It's a little more empty up here. That's mostly seating up here just for dinner time. And more and more bottles. So many bottles. I have to say, I have seen a couple duplicate bottles in here, so they're not all totally different, but still a, a nice collection of rare bottles. I've seen several duplicates of this oyster stout, but not too many other duplicates that I've noticed. We've got some artwork on the walls as well. Nice old beer posters, local signs and such. Okay, friends, I got the porter. So far as I know, this is the only porter that I've seen in this 
in this whole city. It might be the only border in this city. Oh, super smooth. This could be one of my favorite porters I've ever had. Uh, wow. This slight, slight taste of peanut butter in the back end. Really great mouthfeel. Excellent finish. Perfectly malty. This is, I'm going to say this is my favorite burger I've ever had. I'm shocked. It's so good. Mm. I've noticed something around here, friends. The word flavor is spelled with an O-U-R, unlike the U-S. I've seen that so many times around town on the signs. Flavor, flavor, it's all spelled the same. Some other words, too, spelled a little different. Well, we have it downstairs. Let's go check that out. Might just be the restrooms, but... Okay. Got some interesting art here. And yes, it's just the restrooms and the basement. There's one of the bands here on their advertisement for music playing here is the See You Next Tuesdays. <laughs> they play on Tuesday. Clever. I just noticed this sign that says that the Porter House was the pub of the year in 1999. And that oyster stop that I had a little while ago got a silver award back in 2001. Having a great time talking to the bartender here. I'm ordering some beers for the lady and her family. And he's telling me how the, the beer that I just had, my favorite porter of all time so far, can get even better. I mean, they just moved the brewery around, so some things change. He says that I come back in a, in a couple of days, maybe the next batch will come out and you'll be able to taste some more flavor in that beer because they're experimenting with some things. I'm shocked. Totally shocked. I think that's one of the best beers I've ever had. And he says there's a better beer, so he's gonna pour that for me. Yeah! Now, Captain, there's the manly portion of the All right, the manly portion. <laughs> Acquired one more beer. I gave the bartender the choice to give me whatever he wanted. He gave me the oyster stout once more. He didn't know I had it first, but I still love this beer. I think it's an excellent beer. I really enjoyed the porter. I enjoyed the IPA. I'm sure the other beers are great too. Just enjoy my time here. What a great place. Out of all this entire collection of beer bottles, I've never seen a single one of these beers in the entire place in my life. All kinds of interesting signs here. Rasslers, triple X. I don't know what that is. I learned something about this beer bottle collection that when the brewers originally started the brewery, if you brought a beer in that they had never seen before, they would give you two beers on the house just for that. So that's how they made this huge collection of beer. I think it's a great idea. I would do it myself. In fact, I might. Thanks for joining me today, friends, here at Porter House Brewery, the first brew pub in all of Dublin. I appreciate your company. The beer was great here. I hope you make it here if you ever come to Dublin, Ireland, yourself. I'll see you at the next brewery. What a great bar. Thank you. Thanks very much. Uh, we'll be back about 10 or 15 minutes. Thanks very much for listening.